Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to the video. This is exciting and unexpected. Not completely unexpected. I'll get into it in a second. I'm going full screen mode so that we can check out the majesty that is Blaster Kid. Line art and drawings by me. Colors by the... I was going to say incalculable, but that's not even a word. Incomparable Kelsey Shannon. I don't know where Kelsey is, actually. <laughs> that wasn't one of the updates, but actually, I checked on Twitter. I I have... I've not heard from him in seven weeks. I tried to call him actually a couple of times and uh, even his phone doesn't work. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, that wasn't the point of the video. But if I'm going to talk Blaster Kid and compliment his lovely colors, <laughs> should at least give that update. So look, here's the deal. So I finished Crystal Planet as planned on Sunday. I'm actually ahead of schedule on the book. The, the, they don't even really need the next one finished for like four months. So what does that mean? I... I it was interesting because I, I texted um, sort of the owner of the company who's, I wouldn't really call him my editor, but I was I always refer to him as my art director, but his name is Lexi. If you've watched the Sarah Frazetta video, he's working with the Frazetta girls um, also, but he worked for Iron Maiden is where I first met him. So he hired me to do some art for Iron Maiden. Then we did a Megadeth uh, story together for Heavy Metal, and he started his own company called Incendium, which I think initially was somehow tied in with heavy metal but i believe it's his own thing now and not um tied in with heavy metal but anyway um so i wrote him this morning and i was like man this reply is literally gonna basically let me know one of three things two of which meant i'd be able to start blaster kid like now and then one which would be sort of like just continue you know working at the pace that I'm doing um, on Crystal Planet and finish the book up probably by the end of December. But uh, I can start Blaster Kid now. I mean, there's no two ways about it. It's, it's. I mean, like, like get full on into it. I'm going to have to, there'll be a little bit of, um, what do you call it, like um, multitasking. Because I do, over the next few months, need to be working on Crystal Planet and finishing issue four. Um, but <coughs> I really... Um, I really can't believe it. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is is I, I talked about that I had taken some commissions literally like two years ago that I need to finish up. The first one is a um, Joe Quesada Daredevil piece. Um, I need to do a Brian Boland um, Joker piece. I have a David Finch Death Dealer piece. I have a Kenneth Rockefert um Roquefort, I'm not sure how you pronounce his last name. I don't know what it is. I think it's one of Joe Benitez's is like Day of the Dead characters. I, I really, I don't know. Um, and then the other is uh, a Dale Keown Hulk. So I've had these commissions for like two years and I just need to get them done. So I'm going to like, like uh, the next couple of weeks, I really need to like create a schedule so um, I'm kind of thinking out loud as I'm doing this video, obviously, but uh, I thought it would be interesting to like, like I do this on Patreon sometimes where um, I try to give people insight into like actually like how you have to orchestrate this stuff because there's a lot of organizational skills involved in being a professional quote, I'm not even quote unquote, like, like literally if you want to be a professional artist, you really need your shit together, especially, I mean, you always did, but like now more than ever, because if you're a YouTuber or you run your social media, which most people do, or you have Patreon, you have a lot of responsibilities. I mean, I, you know, people will go like, hey, can you read my comic book and give me feedback? And I'm like, well, I give lessons and I give reviews and that takes up almost my whole Monday. Like it's, I do it for hours. Um, and uh, it's hard to just like find a free 30 minutes to like read someone's book just like on the fly. Um, or do things like that. But, um, you know, and then I'm wor I work all the time. I mean, I literally start working in the morning and when I'm done with my page or I'm just completely like fried and can't draw anymore, then I stop because I know that I need to do it the next day. But there's a professional um, commitment that I have to this stuff. I always work seven days a week. Um, I mean, you could just go down the check mark. You know, I'm committed to Patreon. I'm committed to YouTube and um committed to to like producing like a lot of comics my whole career i've always been really reliable i mean it's kind of i mean um i talked about getting to wildstorm because i was kind of in the third sort of group that came in 
Um, meaning that, uh, you know, you had the original people that, that started Wildstorm, Jim Lee, Will Sportaccio, um, then they kind of did a talent search. And to me, that still is kind of wave one a little bit. I mean, obviously the original image founders are, are wave one, true wave one, ground zero. But, you know, you've got J. Scott Campbell, Brett Booth, Ryan Benjamin, um, Trevor Scott, uh, Travis kind of came in, I think, like a year later. And then there was even more artists that came in. So in a weird way, I'm kind of maybe in like the fourth wave. Um, but uh, by the time I got hired, comic sales had started to um, recede from the big boom of, of, you know, this comic sold the most comic books that's ever been sold. You know, that was a Marvel um, Jim Lee thing, but uh, image books were doing great. But, but yeah, so, so when we, when we kind of got hired, uh, really the first thing that we were told, if I don't know if it was like the first, first thing, but it was basically like the editors told us we had to produce. We could not take forever on stuff. And so you you immediately were on sort of the fast track, meaning that, that you had to be productive. Quality really was almost like a second thing. It wasn't by choice. There was just, it was like, like if you wanted to stay, you needed to produce and you needed to get good. And so a lot of people from my generation and even sort of the ones that come from behind me um, were able to rise to the occasion. Not everyone was, though, but uh, like Lee Bermejo, I'm, I'm always so impressed by how productive Lee is for how much detail he puts in his work. But the thing is, is that was instilled in him when he was at Wildstorm, which was you had to you had to produce. And if, if you wanted to be like your heroes that came through Wildstorm, you wanted to get really good because that was sort of Wildstorm was known for having really great artists. And so those two traits together is an incredibly strong package. And it's also an incredibly rare package. Um, you know, you'll sometimes find artists that are great, but they're they're I don't want to say lazy, but they just they can't produce. Or you've got people that get distracted easily, or or they just whatever it is. But it's it's like we didn't really we didn't have that opportunity, and so it's like if if you wanted to be a badass, you're gonna need to be a, be a badass that could actually do it on call, not you know, well when Saturn and the Moon and Venus are all in the sky, I'll be able to draw you know a cover for you. It just did really that wasn't an option for us, and and. If you sank below a certain level, you were probably going to see the door. <laughs> so anyway, Blaster Kid is actually in really good hands because you've got someone who can actually deliver. So um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to revisit all the fan art that people submitted. I want to do that as a video. I want to like start building, you know, just some excitement and, and um, bring attention to the book and remind people um, it is Blaster Kid, one word. I would say that most of the people that ever refer to it in any kind of comment, which I'm always appreciative of, believe me, when you ask, I really do, it, it means a lot to me. But yeah, it is, it's one word, Blaster Kid, one word. The, I'll, like, the story about me coming up with the name is funny. So uh, back in the old days, Google used to tell you exactly how many matches there were for a particular search that you would do. They may have that function now. It's, as far as I know, it's been gone for a long time. But, uh, you know, you could search Luke Skywalker and they would go, there's 76,423,000, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, if you went like Luck Skywalker, they would go, oh, there's 34,000, da, 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 da. So when I originally came up with Blaster Kid, my goal was to come up with something that was easy to spell, which I guess I missed that mark. And <laughs> everybody breaks it into two words. Um, uh, was was fairly easy to remember and had no other uh, matches. And so when I came up with the word, they're literally like, if you search it on Google, I probably have a screenshot of it somewhere. I was so happy. Uh, but yeah, there was there was literally, that was, when you look for that word, that was only me was going to come up at that point, which was actually really, really cool. So in... in um, that was at a time where there wasn't a ton of comic book artists on DeviantArt. There was a few, two in particular that I know of for a fact was um, Mark Brooks and Sean Galloway, Cheeks. Uh, and Mark Brooks on DeviantArt was Diablo 77 and Cheeks was, I, I don't know, Cheeks, I think there's a number, was it Cheeks 74? Something like that. Anyway, so yeah, you know, that was the thing is you would come up with like sort of a, 
what do they call it, like an avatar name, whatever. But but uh, yeah, so so I I ended up signing up for a uh, Deviant Art um, as Blaster Kid, and then over a period of a few years, um, I ended up doing a few um, kind of like studies um, and and kind of drew some stuff that was like sort of like, hey, that's Blaster Kid, like, um, and it it just kind of stuck around, you know. And and I've redesigned her completely, really, from that point. And even a lot of these early previews that you guys are seeing, I've I've been pretty candid about this. I never really wanted to show exactly what she looks like until you get to see the book, or at least as, as we're going into the book, obviously with crowdfunding, you know, you want to show as much art and, as possible to to one set people's mind at ease. I'm telling you, you're in really good hands with me when I when I when I commit to something and I'm like I'm in, all in on Blaster Kid. That's the thing. I'm not even kidding. I literally like I have nothing planned besides Blaster Kid for like the next 10 years. So so although like the thing is is I I always want to kind of place this up front too is is don't think just because it's like I'm not going to milk it like a like I, I don't want to like like a Wolverine or something like that where like like, you don't know who's going to live and die in Blaster Kid. I'm just going to say that up front. So so the thing is, is, is if I tell you I'm going to work on Blaster Kid for 10 years, trust me, there's a lot of story involved in it. And it's not so simple as, like, I'm just going to keep telling stories about this one character. And she's going to do this, and then she's going to do this, and she's going to do this. Oh, she got killed, but now I'm bringing her back for this other series. It's it's way different than that. I've I've, you know, I've had a lot of time to be able to... Um, look at angles. I, I think a lot of people, they go, oh, well, you're a fucking artist, and, like, what have you written? You don't even read comics, someone said the other day. I've been writing literally since I was, like, 10 years old, maybe even earlier. Not only writing, writing, like, 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 lyrics, like, um, D Dungeons and Dragons modules, I mean, uh, music, it's, it's, I've always been able to create stuff really at the drop of a hat, it's not hard for me to actually do it. I also love problem solving. So the thing is, is I'm really, really good at, at not only creating puzzle pieces, but but thinking abstractly. And so so I, I'm, I'm able to really combine a lot of different things. And, and generally speaking, sometimes I'll even surprise myself in terms of like how I connect things and, and I'll figure it out even after I've actually done it where I go, wow, like, how the fuck did I do that? I mean, I've done it with art, too, so it's just kind of in me, and I might not even really be fully aware of what I'm doing, but but the thing is, is I actually do take writing really seriously, and I'm constantly listening to interviews with people that are that are creative and that write and, and do things like that, and so, look, there's going to be mistakes along the way with Blaster Kid. There's no two ways about it. There's, there's going to be things that I'm going to screw up on just because of a lack of experience. In terms of, of, of like story, you know, but like I, I said in a recent video, I think on Patreon, if I can afford to, I do actually want to hire an editor to kind of help me um, make sure that that I'm, I'm um, clear. I want to make sure that 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 if I'm presenting things that that I'm doing it in a proper way. I want to make sure that that um, there's suspense, that the adventure is there, that it's exciting, that it's not overly verbose <laughs> or underwhelmingly, um, you know, uh, like a lack of it. Uh, you know, I want to make sure that that the the pages are designed well, that the storytelling is dynamic and clear, and all these things. And so, you know. I, I've been lucky enough to be in the business a long time and I have really good relationships really with just about anyone I've ever worked with. I can't really think of more than maybe a small handful of sort of pair-ups that just kind of didn't really work. So, you know, that's just one of those things that happens, um, you know, in life. I it doesn't. It's funny, as I've gotten older, I don't really worry about it as much. I used to, like, you know, be more concerned if someone didn't like me, and I don't really care as much. I mean, you obviously don't go out and try to like <laughs> destroy relationships, but it's like, there's a lot of people on this earth. You're not gonna please all the people all the time. In fact, I've got someone on eBay right now that hates me, but they fucked up, not me. So <laughs> if they're listening to this video, it was on you, man. <laughs> eBay had my back. <laughs> People, uh, I was, I, oh man, that's a long story. 
anyway, so Blaster Kid, it is coming. I'm excited. I actually need to get out all my um, preliminary stuff because I had I had um, a computer issue, and so I took everything off my computer. I actually had a computer question for you guys, if, if anyone's smart on this, because I, I, I need a workaround for this. So here's the deal. I have I have probably 12 to 14 external hard drives. That has nothing to do with Blaster Kid. I'm just saying that that's the quantity of... of um, stuff that I have, but <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm, what I'm finding, and it used to not be as prevalent or maybe because I'm aware of it now, I notice it more. When I search a folder, there seems to be an only limited amount of depth that the search will go in terms of multiple folders. So what I'm saying is and people that have dealt with this probably know what I'm talking about. Like yesterday I had to turn in an invoice for, um, crystal planet. And so I have multiple invoices, um, like a stock invoice that I use and then because I've been doing pages, like six pages about every seven days, um, on the, the third issue, uh, I, you know, I have other invoices I've turned in, you know, invoice 12, 13, 14, whatever it is. But when I search, they weren't coming up on the search and it's because there, there are a certain amount of folders into like the folder that they're in and I can't find it. And so what I'm curious is, is there a workaround for it? Because I, I literally this morning was searching a folder for Blaster Kid. There's literally not a single period of time ever where I don't have something Blaster Kid related on my computer. And it was coming up with no hits. And I know that that's not accurate. If I started going deeper into folders, I would be able to find this stuff. But do you know, is there a setting or something where I can have it search more completely? I mean, obviously I can Google this, but I like the videos to be somewhat interactive. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that because it's frustrating to me when I'm looking for something and I want to find like all the Blaster Kid stuff on an external hard drive. My concern is sometimes I'm maybe not like even getting the opportunity to find it because it's too many folders in like after 13 folders it just doesn't do it what i've been doing slowly is i've actually been going through all my folders there's thousands though i mean i've been i've been saving stuff on my computers for 20 20 years now 22 years it's a lot of shit the thing too is as an artist um in particular when i started scanning stuff at home you just end up with so much stuff you you know it's i I would, it would be weird. I wonder if there's artists that don't actually save any of it. I have, hold on, I'm going to count how many external hard drives I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 external hard drives. It's a lot. I've only had one fail on me, and luckily I was able to back everything up. It started working really slow, and I was like, oh shit. But anyway, all right, so that this is that's the update is I'm gonna um, go through the fan art and try to organize it and even the submissions that people did and share your work on Blaster Kid. I thought a, a fun way to kind of get things rolling is to revisit all the stuff that you guys did because I really appreciate it. You spent time on it. I think it's it's the least that I could do is to try to give you guys a little bit of exposure. it's it's I'll do the best that I can. It's not going to be super easy to like actually credit each person, but you're more than welcome to in the comment section, say, Hey, at three minutes and five seconds, that's my piece. And then also, you know, feel free, um, to, I, I would say like, try to post a link to your stuff, but sometimes YouTube will automatically hide those comments and I can't unhide them. So, um, just say, hey, I'm on Instagram is like da-da-da-da-da. You know, like just say the name. Don't do the at symbol or like make it a link and that might work. Or if you have a crowdfunded book that you're working on, you know, by all means, feel free to plug it and just say, hey, I'm on Indiegogo. My book is this. It's this kind of book, you know. The more detail you can give people in terms of like at least just like an elevator pitch of your book, I think the better. So anyway, this was an exciting video to make. It's rambly rambly is rambly rich will be, but uh that's the way it goes when you improv videos. But anyway, I, uh, I'm i going to get out all my Blaster Kid stuff. I'm going to work on a commission a little bit today. I'm going to start laying out issue four of Crystal Planet and make a schedule for tomorrow and start crack a on all this different stuff. I'm trying to think of... Um, I might do mornings Blaster Kid, like work from like 9 to 1 on Blaster Kid. Or maybe it'll be a night thing. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. What vibe do I want? That's, it's, that's an interesting question, to be honest. I used to, so when I, when I first got really into drawing, 
I was inking full time, so I would work at Wildstorm all day. I'd be up at Wildstorm from about ten in the morning till six at night. Come home, have dinner around seven thirty or eight. I would go into my studio. And I would draw for um, like six or seven hours, <laughs> believe it or not. I would work from like eight, uh, eight at night till about three thirty in the morning, and uh, I did that for a while. I couldn't do that now. I don't think it would, it's a little, it's a little too much. But um, we'll see. It's not so much an endurance thing. It's just I, I actually prefer going to sleep earlier. I'd rather work a, a lot, like a long day then uh, be up all night so all right i'll talk to you guys later i'm excited man this is really cool kind of unexpected like i said there were three scenarios one would be just to finish crystal planet like kind of back to back and the other two were um both you know me being able to work on blaster kid either full time or part time and the part time one came through so that's awesome. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, and um, I will start going through the fan art. And then I'm sure as I show the fan art, there might be more coming in. So I'll give a link to the email address and all that stuff so people can know where to uh, submit stuff. So, all right, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, and uh, thank you so much for your patience. All right, bye.